Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math 979. Math 979. So today we're going to do a, a really fun uh, project, uh, which is um, in an area called agent-based models that, that uh, I learned about at this conference I was at this past weekend. And the talk I learned this from was uh, by a guy named Bill Rand, uh, but there's also um, two other people uh, who were very involved. One um, uh, professor at NYU named Josh Epstein and um, Professor Brandeis named Blake LeBaron. So you start, the idea in, in what we're going to study today is you start out with, um, we're, we'll, I think we're, we'll use 500 people, but you'll get it from this example. Uh -huh. Everybody starts out with $100. And then we're going to, we're going to do time steps. And everyone at every step is going to Every one of the 500 people is going to take a dollar and they're going to randomly select someone else to give it to. Hmm. So they take a dollar and then select it to someone in the group randomly and give it to them. So maybe this person gives a dollar to this person and this person gives a dollar maybe to this person and this person gives a dollar to this person maybe this person gives a dollar to that person. Mm -hmm. And so uh, everyone... You can't select yourself. Uh, I don't know if you can or you can't, actually. I don't know for sure the rules, but with 500 people, it probably probably wouldn't matter too much. Although we'll look at the code and, and see. Um, maybe you can select yourself. Um, but it evolves, and the, as, at every step this happens. And so my question to you is, what, what do you think happens over time to the, to the population and to the wealth of the population? Well... If they're selecting it randomly, the wealth should stay at pretty much everybody having a hundred dollars because if the if somebody like suddenly gets wealthy, if somebody if somebody if people give one person a lot of money and they have to give it away, but wait, actually, since you're only giving away one dollar at a time. Uh -huh. Like the people who don't get a lot of money are gonna go down, but the people who like a lot of people give them money in one step, they're not gonna lose their money a lot. They're gonna like keep if even if they get average, they're gonna stay pretty wealthy. Okay. So what do you what then do you think will happen? So I think there'll be some variance. I think there'll be people some people with high amounts of money, some people with low amounts of money. Okay. Nice. So what do you think? I think it'll like? start to concentrate in a few, few people. Okay. How come? Well, because like if you if five people select you, you get five dollars, and then it takes five more steps for you to get rid of that five dollars. So you're kind of gaining money faster than you're losing it. At least some people will be, but some people there's some people will be by pure chance, and some people won't. Just because they get unlucky. Does some does something happen to the people who run out of money? I I think the rule is that when you get down to zero, or if that happened, then you just stay at zero until somebody gives you a dollar. Okay. So they stay in the system. They just stay at zero. Hmm. All right. Okay. So um, I have a um a program uh, where we can run this and watch and see what happens. Okay. okay. 